Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dolmany TV. I'm Tyson Allen, and I'm ready to get you that Edmonton Oilers injury update today. <sighs> because, yeah, let me tell you, there is a lot, a lot to get to for this Edmonton Oilers squad. Coming out of that Colorado game, I will tell you right now, after the last night's game there, I was uh, pretty much eyes wide shut. Is that how you say it? Eyes were open, but they were metaphorically closed because I was already sleeping with uh, my eyes open pretty much towards the end of that game so that was why there was no game review last night however that said we're not going to talk too much about that other than to really discuss what happened in terms of injury front stuff in that game and well there were two things and then we got an update on Nuge today from Coach Tippett as well. So shall we get into what the Edmonton Oilers blog on the injury updates assessed by Dave Tippett bring to us? Number one, we'll start with Ryan Nugent Hopkins, who's been out of the lineup the past two games. Sam Gagne has been in there. First game, he filled in very well. Second game, well, guys, like I said, right off for both anybody in the involved really even even on the Colorado side of things that game was pretty much a write-off that's an ugly win for Colorado an ugly loss for us Ryan Nugent Hopkins missed the past two outings with a hand injury this is directly off of EdmontonOilers.com Alex Chason was placed on concussion protocol following a hit he took against the Avs and Chris Russell was absent from practice Thursday after missing parts of Wednesday's 4-1 loss that's your uh, body of what you need to know when it comes to this Edmonton Oilers team. Now, direct quotes from Dave Tippett here. Nuge had a little procedure this week, and I don't think he's available this weekend, but early next week is a possibility for him. That's Tippett saying of Nuge and Hopkins. And then it's been a little bit of a nagging thing for a few weeks. We decided it was the right time to make sure we took care of it. Hopefully a week or 10 days will do it. So my one concern, guys, this is... This is a major, major concern actually of mine, just based on reading that, is the simple fact that we still, realistically, based on what Dave Tippett's saying, don't know what the actual hand injury is or what the real extent of it is for Ryan Nugent Hopkins. And that's, to a degree, a concern because you'd like to know, obviously, with a star player like Ryan Nugent Hopkins, exactly what's wrong. So as we aren't, I don't know, scrambling as fans to fill the void while he's gone per se I mean the team's doing it their way that's how it always is but for us right we 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 live and die by these updates and Ryan Nugent Hopkins should be back in a week or 10 days hopefully but we've seen several cases over Oilers history where a week or 10 days becomes two three a month a month and a half right so it's, it's kind of scary to think that uh that could be the case here, but you know what? Honestly, being Dave Tippett and Ken Holland, I'd expect a lot more upfront honesty if it was that case. So if you're in that group kind of panicking, oh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins' injury might actually be worse than we're thinking. He's out of the procedure. What if there's a setback? We'll know sooner than later on that, right? It's not going to be something where 10 days passes and suddenly, oh my God, there's another three three days setback or four days setback, a week, month, whatever it is. So I, I, I highly doubt we're going to see that kind of thing play out with Dave Tippett and Ken Holland in charge. So that, that's good to see there as well. So take, take some ease in that and hopefully we've got ourselves our timeline and we should see Ryan Nugent Hopkins back, if not in time for that Saturday game, December 6th against the LA Kings, which I will be missing for a, wait, no, December 6th? Hold on, what the heck? Is that Friday, December 6th? Yeah, that's Friday, December 6th against the LA Kings. I'll be missing that one for a work Christmas party. Um, Nuge had a little procedure. We've already talked about that. Now let's get on to Tippett and Chieson stuff. Tippett said Chieson was getting tests done on Thursday and that staff would let learn more based on the results. So that's, if you don't know, Alex Chieson got an absolute suicide pass from... Adam Larson in a weird spot on the ice just outside of the blue line, just off the face-off dot of the Colorado Avalanche's blue line, and got absolutely crushed, like absolutely killed. That's Guys, it's a good hockey hit. I'm not pretending like it's a bad hit. There should be a suspension. No, nothing there. No, not nothing there. If anything, the suspendable action is the suicide pass by Adam Larson on that play. That was brutal. 
That was absolutely brutal by Adam Larson to put a guy like Alex Chase on in that dangerous of position. It happened, is what it is, and now we've got a guy in concussion protocol, and I'm sure as much as I'm angry at Adam Larson for that being a bad suicide pass, is what it is. Nobody, wor- nobody feels worse than Adam Larson. You can almost bet on that. So that's a that's a tough one. And I mean, you know what? What do we really lose this season in losing Alex Chieson? Not much. Not not much. We we have guys capable of replacing him. In terms of right hand shots, not really. But in terms of a guy like Joachim Nygaard, absolutely. And Joachim Nygaard adds a dimension way different than Alex Chieson. And when we see Alex Chieson on the bottom six, he's hitting, he's grinding a lot more than when he's in the top six. And Joachim Nygaard brings that to his game no matter where he's playing in the lineup, no matter what the situation is. So we, we get it invaluably injected because of the injury, and that's not a concern. So that's good news for the Edmonton Oilers, is that they do have the depth to not have to panic about bringing in somebody from the minor league system to fill a void like Alex Chieson based on what uh, what Alex Chieson kind of right brings to this Edmonton Oilers team, historically speaking, over the past year and a quarter. Uh, you know what I mean, right? The goal scoring, the the little bit of game changingness, that that kind of stuff. But right, uh, we we've got guys capable of doing the caliber of plays bringing this year. So not too much of a concern, although I do absolutely wish him all the best, a speedy recovery. And same with Nooch, same with everybody that's on the IR right now, because guys, those are our guys. And I I like when we have a healthy lineup to go to war with, let me tell you, because we really haven't had that at all this year. And that's unfortunate. That said, shall we get to the final guy on the injury update and stop me uh, from rambling on any longer, is uh, Chris Russell, they didn't get the replay until late in the third period when we had already been down to three defensemen at one point last night, is the fact that Chris Russell took a cut to the ear. It was a weird, like, I don't know if it was the puck that cut him or the stick follow-through. It was kind of one or the other. The angle wasn't conclusive. Go figure. Um, (laughs) But he took the cut to the air, Sore, he was sewed up. Tippett believes he'll be available to play on Saturday, so that's good news for us, right? We don't want to be sitting here having to inject Brandon Manning into a defense that's already as tired as they are. And then, well, the thing is, don't know if you've ever had your ear sewed up before. This is a direct quote from Dave Tippett, but that's one of the worst spots. I felt for him seeing him lay on the table there last night. We decided to give him the day off. He earned the day off then. Absolutely, guys, this is... This is the one thing that Chris Russell gets away with is taking days off because he earns his days off, right? You look at how much he steps in front of the puck. I mean, yeah, sure, Clefbaum's been doing it more this year, but uh, Chris Russell, that's the only real element of his game that's superstar level. So when he's able to do it, you got to admire it. So, I, I mean, absolutely. You know what? You earn your days off any way you can get them. And for Chris Russell, it's a puck off the ear that needed to be sewed up and a day of rest. And guys, after that Colorado game, I think everybody deserved a day off rest just to sit there in their hotel room, their bedroom, whatever the heck it is, and think about what the heck were they doing because my goodness, that was uh that was an ugly mess last night, but I think the one thing out of that all that will be really interesting to see what happens Saturday against the Vancouver Canucks is the, the the science behind playing in the Mile High City, right? The old science, according to the broadcast last night, used to be get early, get acclimatized, get ready to play. Well, now the new science says that does nothing. Show up as late as possible, get in there, play, and get out as quick as possible. Well, that's what the Oilers did last night, and hopefully that means this Oilers team, because the air's thinner up there, that's the whole thing why we're talking science, is... They get back, regroup, recoup, and get ready to roll against the Vancouver Canucks on Saturday because guess what? No easy task. It's a back and back and back to back, and we're in Vancouver on Sunday. So, so Oilers team going to have a little bit of fun here in the next two games, and these next two games could definitely determine kind of what happens with uh, December moving forward. But we got to close out November, and remember, don't panic. Because if you're about to say, 
my goodness, we looked awful. That's who the Oilers are. We're doomed. This season's over because of last night's loss. Same thing I've told you day in, day out after every loss. Wait till we're, we rebound. We'll rebound. Don't worry about it. We haven't had a three-game losing streak this year. Guess what? That's still true with one more game to play in November. So panic level, guys. Again, after an ugly loss, bare minimum. Brush it off. Resilient Oilers will go get it against Vancouver Saturday night and we'll be fine. Problem is, we need to heal up now. So let's get them things healed up and get going. Hopefully Nuge ready to play next week and we get back to a full lineup mid to late next week. Guys, I'm Tyson. This is Stolen TV. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. I will catch you as always in the next one.